Good afternoon or morning, whatever time you're watching this. This is the Vape and Juice Frequently Asked Questions section. Uh, we're going to be answering some of the questions that you may have, some of the basic questions, some of the questions that will come up, some problems you may be experiencing, and hopefully we can answer them for you today. Yeah. So I'll start, and the first one's going to come up with is uh, what is the difference between a mouth to lung or sub -omen? Uh, mouth to lung, or its abbreviation is MTL, is the traditional way of vaping, uh, as you would if you were smoking a cigarette. So you suck the smoke, the vape, into your mouth, you inhale it, and then you expel it out as usual. The other side of it is sub -omen, also known as direct-to-lung, DTL. That is where you inhale the vapor directly into your lungs using uh, a sub -ohm device. We'll get onto them later. As if you were using something like a asthma pump or something like that. The vape is inhaled directly into your lungs from the device, creates bigger clouds and that's what's known as sub -ohm vaping. Yeah, so often you get your tank stuck on your device, say so it's a common fault, but say so it's very easy to get off. Say so with some of your sub -ohms you can fit a pair of scissors into the airflow, use that as leverage to pull that off but also make sure that your tank isn't hot when you're taking it off as metal expands with heat. Next one for me is what happens if you get a no atomizer or an atomizer short coming up on your device? Can be a number of things. Uh, the first thing I would recommend to do is uh, take the atomizer out of the tank and give it a clean up. The contacts on the 510 pin that's at the bottom and make sure your battery contact is completely clean as well. Screw it back together and give that a try and see what happens then. If it still doesn't work and you're still getting that atomizer short, unfortunately it's probably going to mean that you're going to have to change it for a new atomizer. That's that one. So how do you make your coil last longer? So most of the time with your coils you want to prime it. So all this means is drop a few drops of your e-liquid onto the exposed cotton of the coil. And then once it's all filled up, just leave that to soak for about 10-15 minutes. Okay, what to do if your mod is not firing? A couple of things you can do first. Uh, I would recommend checking that it's fully charged. And if it's a mod with external batteries, take out the batteries and check, put some fresh batteries in. Also, clean up your battery connectors as well. Sometimes you can get a little bit of dirt on the battery connectors and some, just a little bit of dirt can make all the difference. It can stop the connection and stop the mod firing. After you've tried all them and if your mod still isn't firing, it's probably a case that your mod has given up the ghost and passed away. What nicotine level do I want? So this can depend on what device you're using. So if it's just one of the starter kits, we recommend up to five to 10 a day to start on the six milligram. And then 10 to 20, the 12 milligram. And then anything above that, you want to go to the 18 milligram. And if you don't smoke, then just the straight zero. Okay, the difference is between high VG and high PG. So there's two main ingredients in e-liquid, VG which is vegetable glycerin and PG which is propylene glycol. The higher the PG content, what PG does is delivers throat hit and flavour. So if you have a high PG content, you will find that in a lot of star kit juices of strengths of 6, 12 and 18. The PG gives you a stronger throat hit and you get, you get a, a perfect feel as if you're smoking. Um, the VG, the higher VG, VG delivers cloud, so you'll find the high VG liquids for sub ohm devices. The higher the VG content, the milder it will be, but you've also got to be aware that some high VG liquids will make the, the juices sweeter, because VG is naturally sweet, um, but it will give you a higher cloud, so that's the difference between VGs PGs. What wall plug should I use to charge my vape? So... Basically, you want to avoid your Apple chargers and your fast charging plugs. So it's as simple as that on them. How do I make more clouds? Well, as I mentioned earlier, it's all to do with the VG. You have a higher VG content in your liquid, the more clouds you will make. But you also need a device that's capable of handling, handling more wattage. So you need a, a sub ohm device, basically. So you need a device that can read low ohmage coils with a high wattage more powerful, more VG, more cloud. Why do I cough when I vape? So this can be down to multiple issues. So it could be nicotine level is too high, 
So all you would need to do is drop your nicotine level a little bit. Also, when you start to vape, it's like learning to smoke again. So the vapour is a different consistency to the smoke. So all you've got to do is stick by it for a few days and that should start to go. Next question is, is there any tar in e-liquid? Well, the short answer is no. There's no tar in e-liquid, you only find that in tobacco. There are no carcinogens in e-liquid. Short answer, no. How long does a coil last? So this depends on how much you're using your vape and if you're chain vaping. But on average, a coil can last anywhere from one week to four weeks. How long will e-juice last? Well, the simple answer to that one is, how long is a piece of string? There's no given set time for how long a bottle of e-liquid is going to last you. If you're a heavy vapor, it's not gonna last you very long. If you're a light vapor, it's gonna stretch out for a little bit longer. Um, when e-cigarettes uh, e first started coming onto the market, they were being advertised as this bottle is equivalent to 200 cigarettes. It cannot be quantified, you can't, you can't say that. So how long will a bottle of e-juice last? Depends on how much you've opened it. Why has my e-liquid changed colour? So this will be one of two things. So if your coil's burnt, and that is turning it into a brownish, blackish colour, or purely because of steeping. So the more you leave a juice on its own without being touched in a dark area, so it will start to ferment and turn a darker shade. How long before I need a new device? When your old one dies or if you feel like you want to upgrade. Um, most rechargeable units have a period of nine months recharging before the battery does start to degrade. So you may notice a difference then. That could be the time that you decide, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself to a new device. But there's no, you don't have to upgrade at a certain point. When you feel like your device is dying, then it's time to get a new one. Why is my tank making a crackling noise? So. All this is, is that there's excess juice in your coil, so it's trying to burn that off, but where it is basically flooded, it will start to crack on. That will eventually go. And that's the end of the Frequently Asked Questions section. I've been Steve. Jake. And we'll see you again soon.